Guardians, Part 17. Oh yes! This is the place! I was pretty sure we'd find it somewhere down here. You know what we're looking for? Something sad and sulky. Licking, lingering wounds. <laughs> it is here. She's totally gonna see that there's something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Catathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um, is that supposed to be me? I've heard you make that speech so many times. And then Gamora says something like, We're going to need Drax? Uh-huh. And then little Fuzzy says, Nope, I ain't playing this game. And then Little Fuzzy usually says, If I get eaten, I'm gonna be real pissed, Quill! We're here. <laughs> Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's... a cocoon? It's some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion sac or something. <laughs> <laughs> you realize this is weird, right? Oh, it gets weirder. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. <laughs> Calm down there, Fabio. Followers. Think fast, beard butt. How the? You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass. This is pretty cool. Not quell a god. <laughs> Prepare for oblivion, interlope. Star Lord's kind of a god. What's oh, this one? Okay, Green Rainy, you're up. Uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys. It's him, Aaron Witchcraft. No, wait, Aiden Warsock. Ashley Warsock. <laughs> Adam Warlock. That's it. The Golden God guy. Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine, whatever. Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker, not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happen. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas. <laughs> My friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh. Can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... Th what the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. 
teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, God Guy. Your bold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. It's deep, man. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? <laughs> yes, ma'am. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. I like it. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. This is Drax's promise. Mine was a lot less downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor guy. Uh, I'm not the only one that hears that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, okay, that's a long way down. I don't think that matters here. Ladies first? Rank before gender. Please be something soft down there! <laughs> <laughs> Tracks? Not tracks. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, Gamora? I'm gonna enjoy this. Fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I'd remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target practice. Maybe this isn't 
I hate even thinking this, Quill. But maybe we should run. Those Flarkers are all over the place. He's right. It's gonna take everything we got to defeat them. Seriously? You're talking about retreat. We're the Guardians, dude. We live to fight. So bring it on. Because I say these Flarkers are going down. Who's with me? We are! Time to bl- Nonsense. Ready. This is how it's done. Oh, you rocket! Like even she's got her limit. Just supposed to die? Come on. Uh, 
busting my ass over here. Hey, we ain't that. Mantis, I think we did something, but I don't see Drax. Mantis? Your soothsayer holds no sway here. <laughs> oh, good. Not creepy at all. Hold up. Look. I bet I could beat you to the center. <laughs> Not so fast, little one. Drax, wait up! Goldie, there he is again! Drax, buddy, wait up! Forced to follow fools. <laughs> Damn it! I can hear you with the one I was gonna go the wrong way anyway. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. I'm working on that. Left, little one. Huh? You can see me? Life is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who's been no help, you seem full of opinions on how this works. <laughs> it is you who forced me to follow this fantasy of falsehood. There! Look! Hey, how did you beat me? Because <laughs> I am your father. Playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <sighs> Papa, are you all right? Drax, come here. It is time to come home. What the fuck is that? Yes, little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! What's going on in Kansas anymore? What the fuck are those? Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! I don't have a tail. All right. Fine. All right. I think we gotta look at whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. Is that Drax's wife? I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. <laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. 
Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted. Wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big luck. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. You do not know if you ask. This charade. Not good. Nowhere is where we are. Maybe it's not all bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping. Global wizard. All right, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. Mantis! A little help here! Ow! Rocket! I tried pinching myself. You and there. Look. I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us. I'm sure of it. I hope you've got. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. Gonna appreciate some backstory. My own. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. special they are the only thing that matters my hovat was the most fearless mate i have ever known he brought me peace even during times of war my camaria my innocent little camaria she was the best of us both despite her meager stature they both bore were. They were. Your quill. 
my family is gone, what sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. Without it, I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. Those are good performances. Join us, Drax. It's not her. What the fuck is he doing, Drax? Look at that ragtag squad, buddy. You gotta go back to that. Kratos over here. Always. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. Pink Quill. Your child is in danger. If her pain is half my own, darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black dwarf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Okay, sure. I don't know hey, shit about the comics. Want to get back here and explain that bombshell? Time is tight, and you're understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Look, I don't know what's going on, but it's clear this is at least a little bit your fault. My contrition is clear, as is my resolve to rectify my recklessness. Hey, we get reckless. It's kind of our brand. We're all on the same team. We 
gotta work together. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark. Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose, until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed, symptom and solace. He worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools, fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice and could hear nothing else. Adulation. Flagellation, gorged with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation. You let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Now you've got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corral was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivably. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. what Corell said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So, Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure <laughs> her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you... What's oh, going... Oh, Flark. Oh, Flark.
They can go anywhere, convert anyone. Well, shit. sound like you're not coming with us these are my people some still survive if I stay then we'll stay and help go I'll be where I need it when I need to be just trust me don't go dying I'm starting to actually get you Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? <laughs> Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't start. <laughs> Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. <laughs> That's good. I wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And then the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. <laughs> More, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. Okay, sword. What she's was that? She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Pretty little. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh, do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Quill, you're making a mountain out of a scrap pile right now. It's embarrassing. Seriously. Mantis mentioned something about trauma. Is that where your fear of water came from? Okay, loopy girl don't know nothing about nothing. Must be from another uh, timeline. Well, regardless, you saved our lives, so thank you. The rodents saved our lives. Oh, yeah? You surprised? You know, I can do more than blow stuff up. You saved our lives by blowing something up. Oh, fuck off, murder mom. <laughs> Let's see what we can make with the parts you've got. Doing, doing, done. 
done in record time. This work is worth more than your worth, Quilt. Did you just... You have closed the refrigerator door. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I thought I was the only one who ever bothered. I thought I was the only one. I observed the tree closing at once. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. Brute agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. Hey, Warlock, open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? Yes. Absolutely words sure and measured but beheld by my bemused misgivings your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways maybe we can meet in the middle then yes an oath will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression to give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows sure man whatever it takes then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That'll be decisive and, and uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow through which I witness the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Magus can't... No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably.
I hope Peter Quill has convinced our guest to fight alongside us. Judging from the tone of voice, he was more annoyed than convinced. Which one? Quill or Golden Boy? They both sounded annoyed. Annoyed or not, we have to work with him. We need someone strong enough to keep Raker in check if you want any chance to get to Nikki. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? <laughs> yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. <laughs> I think I'm going to call that here. Wrap up. Carry on another time. Kind of glad Loop the Loop stayed on Lamentus. My ears were ringing from all her nonsense. I prefer Mantis's nonsense to Warlock's. The Golden Man is perfectly intelligible. Sure, his words make sense. I'm just having trouble with all the pathos. Yeah, like, what's with the dramatic wardrobe change? Who sleeps in a cocoon and owns a cape? Hmm. Capes are nice. I actually dig the cape. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Until next time.